Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 150 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload it at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So we're still here. Thank you, Lord. We didn't get blown away by the hurricane. We were totally prepared. Yep. We were ready. I mean, when you see things on the news, like it's a cat five and you see what's happening to the Bahamas. I mean, we were really bracing ourselves. Um, thankfully, at the very end, and thank y'all for your prayers and well wishes, at the very end, it like turned. Yeah. But the Bahamas just got nailed. So please continue praying for the Bahamas. If you know anybody or any organizations in you did sending relief efforts, they're going to need it because that storm just sat over them for a couple of days. Yeah, exactly. And I, and this is going to be like a long rebuild, I think. So yeah. um, it's one of those things that it's like send stuff now and send stuff in a couple months and a couple months after that. Because sometimes, you know, when it's like first... Like the crisis first happens, everybody sends relief, but right. then they're going to need this in November and December and January as yeah. they continue to rebuild. It was devastating to yeah. them. But the week was good overall. We had a little bit of rain from that, but we were able to go through all of our stuff, find out we were missing some things. It was, my house was clean. Yep. We got to make sure we were fully stockpiled. And then as a mother of like older teenage children and like adult children, Everybody for once was all just planning to be home, yep. right? Normally everybody, they'd be in school, you guys would be at work, everybody's in a different direction. But what would a mama want for her birthday? I want to be home with everybody. Yeah, the and storm that's what was I got. supposed to hit on Tuesday, which was Rachel's birthday, which yeah. a lot of people sent messages. Happy birthday. Which, thank you. And also, I just wanted to say thank you, special thank you to Miss Rachel in South Carolina, who sent me this beautiful birthday card. <laughs> Handmade birthday card, just absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for that. Also, you got uh, something from Vivijay. I got a letter opener from Vivijay. I showed it on the other video. But is that beautiful? It says Grandpa Joe. Grandpa Joe. So I love this thing. This is really cool. So thank, thank you, you very much, Jason. Uh, but what I was saying was it was, yeah, really nice because the storm was supposed to hit Tuesday, which was your birthday. Yes. And because that's when they were anticipating the storm to, to hit mm -hmm. or us get the outskirts of it, which we didn't even get, the schools closed, Caleb's college closed, a lot of businesses had closed. Nobody wanted you like over there trying to cut their lawn in right. the middle of So that. we just pretty much spent the day together as a family. I tried to take Rachel out to Buffalo Wild Wings for her birthday and she's like, ah, oh, no, I'm in my pajamas and I'm not getting out of them. I literally showered to put like a pajama set on because it was intentional. Like I wanted to relax on purpose. But you did get your Buffalo Wild Wings because I took the boys to Buffalo Wild Wings mm -hmm. and then we just brought Rachel hers home because she literally did not want to leave the house. But the thing was we got there and like my food took 45 minutes to come out. So I finally went up to the manager. I'm like, ah, uh, come on, what is going on? First of all, the waitress has been nasty and then it's taking 45 minutes. I'm like, I'm planning on an hour for our food. And like, here we are, we're getting, I think it was like closer to like 50, 55 minutes by the time all of the food came. Cause like Anthony's wings didn't even come out right away. And they're like, well, because the hurricane was coming, a lot of people decided they weren't going into work today. So we only have like one cook and three waitresses. Oh, gracious. And I'm like, okay. Meanwhile, the storm never hit. So. I know. But, you know, when when you have an excuse to be able to stay home, I get it. Like, I I wanted to stay home. I, I did stay home. So yeah. it was it was good. It was a very relaxing day. And you also made another fun thing, something that I requested for my birthday, something that I have missed since keto is crab rangoon. Yeah. I love crab rangoon and I haven't had it since keto. So I was like, Joe, is there a way to make this happen? I knew that I could have the filling. Right. Because that, you know, that's like cream cheese and crab and I wasn't concerned there, but I thought, how are you going to make like an outside, you know, shell for the crab rangoon? 
we used chicken skin. It was amazing. So I took, I had, a few weeks ago, I had thought about this, and a few weeks ago, I actually had made some chicken thighs, and I pulled the skin off because I needed to just cut up the chicken thighs. <laughs> and so I pulled off the chicken skin, I froze it, you know, vacuum sealed it and froze it. So yeah, I pulled that out, dried it off, gave it a little bit of seasoning, put the crab rangoon filling in it, rolled it up, stuck it in the air fryer. It was delicious. And now we're gonna try it with soy paper too, because I found soy paper, which is only like one total carb for an entire sheet. And I'm talking about a big, a big like eight by eight sheet. So we're gonna try that and then we're gonna work on a recipe for it. Yeah. Like putting a recipe on our website and doing a video for it. Cause it was amazing. It was delicious. I really enjoyed it. And it was, um, it, it just had a really good crunchy. It was, it, it had everything you would want in Crab Rangoon without the guilt. Yeah. Now, because of the storm, we, you know, a bunch of our football games had gotten canceled. So I did have some extra time at home this week. We didn't do a lot of videos mm -hmm. because it was your birthday and we wanted to take a day off from filming and everything else. But we did spend some time working on recipes. I came up with like a beef bolognese recipe. Wait till y'all get a load of so it. So we're going to start so working good. on that. And so what we did want to mention is that we are going to start trying to focus in the time that we can find to come up with more recipes mm -hmm. and at minimum start putting them on the website and then as we have time make videos you know it just it takes a long time to make the video recipes because you got to wait for it to cook and then so you got to like carve out two three hours like the cheesecake was like a long All day time, right it was like two you days. know prepare it and then 10 minutes in then 10 minutes wait for it to cool then 50 minutes in then come back an hour later so it was like three hours and then wait till the next day to actually come back and sample it mm -hmm. it's a great recipe if you haven't tried it i'll leave a link for that oh, over rachel's it is head. so stinking good and a lot of people have asked me like can do you have to use keto chow i have not tried it with any other protein powders but i doubt you have to you might be able to use another protein powder but you're gonna have to find a protein powder that's like whey protein isolate because it's used using some of that milk from the whey protein isolate. Okay. So, and one of the things about the keto chow is it's bringing some sweetness and flavor and a lot of the protein powders are out plain. there are either plain or they don't have a lot of sweetness. You, you could possibly try the Quest protein powder. That might work. Give but it it's shot. usually a little bit higher in carbs too. Yeah. So, but anyway, yeah, so that recipe came out really good, but we're gonna start focusing on our recipes and we wanna start really working on the website Mm -hmm. And uh, we just actually started moving over servers. I realized like yesterday, today's Sunday, I was like, oh my gosh. Team like, Sunday. Our recipe, that's right. Our, our website servers, like you have to renew it every year and it's up for renewal. I can't believe it. Like tomorrow. And I'm looking at a thing no and all pressure. of a sudden I'm getting a thing from like GoDaddy who was like hosting our website that like I can't put any more content up. I'm like out of room. And so now I have to upgrade to the next level. And I'm like, well, that's like 35 or $40 a month for hosting. I'm like, something is wrong. Well, yeah. I found another company that's supposed to be even better and it makes everything secure. And we can add on things because we're working on having some different types of like swag and stuff like that. Yes, we're working on a logo. Yeah, we're working on a logo. We'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, so I found this other site and they're like, okay, great. We're going to transfer everything over. And you're like, well, we can transfer it, but it's a $150 fee. And then it'll take two weeks. So I quickly had to learn how to completely move a website from one server to the other. Because you don't have two weeks. Because I don't have two weeks. I have 24 hours. So there may be some wonky things with our website for the next few days. I got it. I got the recipes moved over. Okay, good. But like some of the other stuff, it doesn't quite look right. And so we're going to be working on that. But that is our goal to really get that website up and running and and work more on recipes and like rachel said we've come up with a new logo we're going to keep the two crazy ketos logo but some of the stuff like you have to have a black and white logo you do like i love this metal stainless steel blender bottle from robert from you know keto savage this thing is awesome it, it keeps is. the ice all day long even though it's got a plastic top it's stainless steel on the bottom it's amazing but you have to have a one color logo and we have like a 35 color logo yeah so Rachel and I spent Saturday morning, early in the morning, we got up at like six in the morning and started drawing a logo. Yeah. So we're gonna put a picture of that up right here so you guys can see what it looks like. So you wanna explain what this is? 
So we've got like the 2KK, because a lot of people call us 2KK yeah. instead of 2 Crazy Kids. That was never intentional. That was you guys just started calling Which us 2KK. Which I love. And I like it. I love it. So I thought, you know, I want something that conveys that like we have a good laugh. Yeah. We're friendly. So I said, man, it kind of looks like a face a little bit, like the little eyes and, and the two looks kind of like a nose. So I said, let's just put a smile underneath it. And I think that's us. Yeah. So we moved, we, we spent a lot of time like drawing it and, and writing it out. And, and so we have the two and then we have the K's. And the reason one of the K's is backwards, because Anthony said to me last night, he's like, I don't like the backwards K. And because it's like a butterfly. Yeah. Right. So you have the K on the one side and the K on the other. So it's also kind of like wings. And it's a transformation from the one to the other because that's what keto is doing, right? Keto is we're transforming our lives. Yeah, I love it. So so that is going to be on some of our swag. But again, we're also going to have the other like logo where we can do color stuff. But we like that 2KK. So you're going to kind of see, you know, back and forth. Well, let us know what you guys think of that logo. Yeah. Speaking of like logos and colors and stuff like that, I went buck wild up in Hobby Lobby this week because we added another service at church. So now we have five services. So yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit tired. I don't know how I would do this without keto, right? Like we are going, I'm, I just finished the fifth service. Yep. Been going since six o'clock in the morning yesterday, basically. I slept four hours last night and that was it. It's more and sleep than I got. I, right, oh, I know. I, I actually didn't go to bed until like, two o'clock and you got up at three because I was trying to get the website transferred yeah. and also release a video because if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link over Rachel's head. Perfect Keto came out with those chocolate things and they gave us a 48 hour coupon for 20% off of a $40 purchase and it's good on the entire website. Yeah. So I had to, I wanted to get it up so people could take advantage of it. But yeah. you guys are seeing this on Monday, that coupon is still good until tonight at midnight. But so we um so we added an extra Saturday service. Yes. So we have Team Saturday and Team Sunday and I thought, well, I want to make some shirts. And so I went and Hobby Lobby had paint 50% off. And so yeah, I went like my wife the crafter. It was fun. It was very relaxing honestly to do it. So I was when he was like, "Hey, we need to work on our logo." I was like, "I'm so already Miss Crafty." My mom went crafty too. She was yeah. making like those there was like wreaths that you could make. It was from the dollar store components to make it and yeah, we were all crafty this week. Well, what was really cool is we used my iPad to make our logo and I have the Apple Pencil and that thing was really cool because Rachel started like doodling on a paper and she's like, well now how are we gonna get it over? She's like, let's hire an artist. I'm like, I'm gonna hire an artist to like write the letter too fancy. Yeah. It's like, come on. So yeah, with the, the Apple Pencil worked really well inside of like Adobe, I think I used, uh, was it Photoshop or um, uh, no, Illustrator on my iPad and it was nice. We were able to like manipulate all the pixels and. It was, you did good with that. Well, thank you. High five. Um, it was funny, though, as we were like, can you not press so hard here or not press so hard here? It's funny. You know, you've got a built-in way of writing, like whether you like it or not. Right. So, And you're just used to it. And it's funny where you just naturally, your own personal handwriting, where you put emphasis on certain Yeah. Like and the Apple and pencil numbers. like actually goes by pressure. So the harder you press, the more the like the wider it gets, and then you can do a little bit. And like that's why if you look at the two, like it's thinner at the top and the bottom. I'm like, you've got to fix that. And she's like, that's how I write. So you get what you get. I we know. Thought it, it's our personality, so <laughs> it's our handwriting. It's not perfect, just like us. So you were talking about the fact that you don't think you could get through five services without keto? I don't think so. I would have dropped. It is amazing the way our bodies work. So the other day, I just, this whole past week, I have not been feeling optimal. And I, I kept saying to Rachel, and I was even emailing you know, Keto Savage about it, like, something is going on. Like every day I'm another pound or so heavier. I'm not eating excess calories. I feel bloated. I feel tired. I feel something is wrong with me. I need like a reset because mm -hmm. I wasn't eating a lot of food. I wasn't eating off keto. I wasn't eating any garbage. 
So I just woke up, I guess what, Thursday morning? Yeah. Was it Thursday morning? Mm-hmm. Or was it even early? No, it was, I guess I went to, it was Wednesday. Wednesday night. Wednesday night. I just was like, you know what? I'm doing a fast. Like no planning, nothing like that. And I've been listening to some Jimmy Moore talking about fasting and stuff like that. And he was like, you know, making plans for fast and instead of planning, just kind of doing it and like listening to your body. You know, we talk about intuitive eating. Well, intuitive right. fast as well. Like start it like, hey, I'm not hungry. I'm just not going to eat and just keep going until you're finally hungry, whether it be 24 hours, 36 hours, 72 hours, seven days, whatever. Maybe just keep going and don't make a plan for eat for ending the fast. Well, I went the yeah, Wednesday night. I was like, I'm just going to fast. I, I got I need a reset. Let me see what's going on with my body. I did a 40 hour fast. And I only ended it because we had to make some videos and yeah. I knew there was a bunch of stuff because I was not hungry at all when I ended the video, when I ended the fast. But it was amazing that never hungry in 40 hours, you know, didn't like wake up hungry. You would have those couple of minutes like, you know, when I would normally eat at like one o'clock, two o'clock where I was cooking your lunch or yeah. I was cooking for Caleb and be like, Boy, I'm hungry. And like just went through it five, ten minutes. And I'm like, yep, not hungry at all. Stomach was never growling because our bodies, you know, that's all a hormone issue. It's not a physical hunger issue. Yeah. But it's just amazing that you could, I don't think I could do that without keto. Go 40 hours without eating. And I know I could have gone another two or three days. As a matter of fact, I think Redmond Real Salt's doing a 72 hour September fast. September 10th. Yep. Starting on Tuesday where you basically fast and salt. Yeah. But it was what I wanted to mention was how great that fast was and how what was affecting me, I know, is stress. I have been super stressed with stuff going on and planning working, for the hurricane. Planning for the hurricane and trying to services. figure out stuff at church adding services. And yeah, like you said with the hurricane, we had a landscaping business. Well, here's the problem if it's raining, you can't cut. And then if there's a storm, you have to do cleanup, which means you have to put off your cutting and you start freaking out. Like, how am I going to fit all of this into my busy schedule? Well, that's what was causing the waking. It was just the stress. And Thomas DeLawler just did that video about like how stress can literally kick you out of ketosis. Mm -hmm. I dropped 10 pounds and three inches in 40 hours. Now, obviously wow. that's not fat. That's no. just water. But my body was so inflamed from all that stress. And now all of a sudden, since then, so I ended the fast, what, Friday afternoon? Mm -hmm. Like at lunchtime with a bone broth, a bulletproof bone broth. We're, we're going to do a video on that one. But since then, down another three pounds. Wow. Like, And I, now I know some of it isn't just water, but it's just continuing to go down. So we talk about the whoosh effect, which, again, it was just water. I understand that, but it's just the whole idea of keto being able to get you through that. Well, and it's important to to know that because you may, like Joe, and I've experienced it also, get to that point where you're like, wait a second, I'm not doing anything differently and I'm gaining weight. Is keto stopped working for me? No. No, it's probably an outside factor. Either sleep, sleep is an issue, that can cause um, water retention, weirdly. Stress. Stress, definitely. So and not just, not just emotional stress, like, you know, you're worried about your job, but physical stress, like, for example, working out. Like, if you go work out, like, you can have some inflammation if you put your body through a big stress. Even, like, a fast is a stress on your body. Absolutely. Um, but if you have a cold, that's a stress on a body. That's why sometimes you're going to gain weight if you get a cold, even on keto. Yeah, so don't, like, just you throw the baby out with the bath water. Um, listen to your body and see, you know, start do a fast and see, is that it? After Joe had such a good result, and we, I thought, well, I'm probably also stressed because I was having some water retention too. So from Friday night until Saturday night after service, I went ahead and fasted. And that mm -hmm. was a definitely like an impromptu thing. Yeah. So it was like a 24 hour fast. And let me tell you, I was energized. I was ready to go. I mean, I didn't feel hungry. I think a lot of times, yeah, if you're around food, you're like, mm, I'm hungry. And it's kind of like being at the grocery store checkout line. You know, if you can say, no, I don't need to buy gum. No, I don't need to buy a lighter. No, I don't need to buy a magazine. It's just an impulse thing. Yeah, you didn't want gum going into the grocery store. You see gum, now you want it. 
But then as soon as you get out to the car and you didn't buy it, you're like, yeah, I didn't want gum anyway. Yeah. And I mean, that's kind of like how growing is. It, it's yeah. really interesting how, yeah, you're hungry when you normally eat, but if you go 10 more minutes, you're not hungry anymore. So I was totally energized and I felt great during the services. And then I came home, ate something, you know. Didn't and even eat a lot. No, and, and went right to bed. Ate a couple eggs and went to bed. I did want to say, though, I would not have gotten through that fast without Redmond Real Salt and the Keto Chow Fasting Drops, which I had never used those things before. Yeah, I hadn't either. they're awesome. I mean, really it's can. like super, super concentrated salt water. Yeah, it's salty, but I like it. Yeah, but I was just, instead of putting it like in my drinks or anything, because I was just drinking water and I had two cups of black coffee, I was just like squirting them in my mouth. I Anthony them in was my like, mouth. you're crazy. But if you get past that saltiness, I mean, they were really good and they kept me energized. The only downside to the fast you didn't get that long is after about that 24 hour mark, you start getting like ridiculous energy. Yeah. Like the first 24 hours, you may feel like, because you're still thinking about food. So you kind of get the ups and downs. But after about 24 hours, you start going like, oh my gosh. I got so much energy. What am I going to do? Well, when did that 24 hours hit for me? 10 o'clock at night. So actually from Thursday night into Friday, didn't sleep because I had so much energy. You didn't know what to do with it. And that's what the amazing thing is, is like, how do you go 36 hours without food, 24, 36 hours without food and have more energy than when you're eating a normal schedule? Because our bodies are trying to fool us. I think we need to come up with a community fast coming up soon. Yeah, I think like, that's a good idea. We'll, we'll work on a date on that. But the one thing I'm going to take away from this fast, I know we spend a lot of time talking about the fasting, is I am going to kind of start following like Jimmy Moore's suggestions and just doing intuitive fast. In the past, we've always planned it. Right? Yeah. You've always said to me like, hey, like let's plan on fasting next week or in two weeks or something like that. And just having an attitude of, you know what? I'm not hungry. I'm going to skip this meal. I'm still not hungry. I'm going to skip this meal. And then not having a planned end date. Like my fast may be 24 hours. It may be 36 hours. It may even go three or four days. But just kind of going until whenever. Because I know for me, I don't mm -hmm. know about you, when we've planned a 36-hour fast or planned a 48-hour fast, when we plan the 72-hour fast, what happens when I'm you good, get down to those last yeah, few hours? I'm good at like, and then at hour 33, all of a sudden I'm voraciously hungry because I'm anticipating it ending and I'm going to get to eat. So my mind, once again, is on the, the food. food. It's like being at work. And knowing I get out at five o'clock. Well, what happens around four thirty? Yeah, right. You start going. You're already gone. How is this whole day taken an hour, and the last ten minutes is taken like three hours? Yeah, I know that happens even in football games, right? So a football game is four twelve minute quarters, and we will get through, and you'll get through like the first three and a half quarters, and you're like, wow, that was awesome, and like the last two minutes of the game, or the last three minutes, two minutes of a quarter or a half. You're like, how has the last two minutes taken on as much time as the whole game? It a really watch, has it. It just feels like it. What does like they say? It. A watched pot never boils. Yeah. So I think that's pretty much everything that happened in our week. We had a hurricane. We had your birthday. Um, we made some recipes. We had a fast. So what was great about this week is we found little nooks and crannies of time to rest and relax and be together and have a couple of laughs. And that really relieved the stress. Yeah, between the fast on my body and then just finding time to relax. Play board game. Yep. Like hang out together, watch some TV. Um, it was great. And we've been talking in our Facebook family group about stress less September. And if you are not part of our Facebook family group, check it out. Yeah. Because we've got almost 800 people in there, awesome people, the coolest people in the whole world, in my opinion. And I don't think I'm biased. Like, I think it's for real. They're the greatest. Um, but yeah, we're trying to find ways in September to stress less because it really does affect your weight loss goals and your health goals. Yeah, because I know for me, when I started that fast, and believe me, going into that, I was unbearable with Rachel. I know, like she didn't want to be around me because she was like, why are you freaking out? I'm like, I, if, she's like, well, you know the scale is the devil. I'm like, it's not just the scale. My clothes don't fit right. I don't feel good. I've got headaches. Like I feel bloated. I can barely move. And I'm like, I'm not eating wrong. I'm eating like the same amount of calories that I always eat. 
Right? And like, I'm not eating off plan foods. I mean, I haven't gone off plan in two and a half years, not once. Stress is a thing. And in fact, we were eating pretty strict keto going into that. And I'm like, I was messaging Keto Savage, you know, Robert, and I'm like, I'm concerned going into this. That's what we have to talk about. I'm concerned going into like this reverse diet slash cut because you want me to increase my calories by the, the program's got me going up 700 calories to act to 2,900 calories over the next six weeks. And I just actually messaged him. I know he went away for the week and I'm waiting for him to message me back like, I hope that's an error because we said three months and you want to, this thing's got me going up in only five or six weeks. But I was at the highest weight I'd been in two years. It's scary. I wasn't at 200. But I had sworn I was never going over 190 and how I went all of a sudden went from 180 pounds to 193 pounds. It was crazy. It was like really, really scary to see that. And again, knowing it was just stress. And it was the same for me. Like I was going up, up, up also. So it's, yeah, just taking that time, getting some rest. Like you need it. You've got to schedule it. If you, you would schedule a dentist appointment, you know, schedule a meeting at work. You need to schedule some rest, schedule some relaxation, schedule some fun, schedule something that you know is gonna be some like laughs. You're gonna you're gonna have some enjoyment. You need that. Like that's what's good for your body. It's actually gonna be beneficial to your weight loss and health goals if you will schedule yourself some time to just have some stress relief. And we learned that lesson the hard way this week. Yeah, as we do all lessons, it seems like. <laughs> Absolutely. So let's quickly talk about the Keto Savage thing and we'll get into comments. So we're going to start that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I have been waiting for Robert to message me back. So what we're doing is we're following uh, we're going to we're gonna do kind of like a variation of his Deeper State Keto program, which he did in collaboration with Keto Connect with Matt and Mega. They did some recipes and then um, we're basically following his spreadsheet, but we're doing it in reverse. He would like to see us like increase our calories to then decrease our calories. So going by the spreadsheet, it's going to have me gradually increasing my calories. And we're going to do a whole video on this, uh -huh. but it's going to have me gradually increasing my calories from right now. It, I think starting at 2000 and right now I'm eating like 2150, but it's going to start me at 2000 and then it's going to increase me up to 2900. Wow. And then I think it's got you going up to 2,000 from 1,400. It's going to be a party. So you're going to start off lower than you're at. Oh, okay. Wait, what? <laughs> you're going to start off for the first week or two of lower than you're at, but then it's going to slowly increase it. But what I'm waiting for Robert, so we may not even start until Tuesday if he doesn't get a chance to email us back, because again, I know he was going away for the weekend, um, is we should be able to because we're, the first week won't matter but it's how much we add on next week because it's got us both increasing from like you 1400 to 2000 by the first week of October and me by the first week of October. And I know when we talked to him, he said he wanted to see that gradually over three months, not over five weeks. Yeah. Because if you do it too quickly, you're going to put on some weight. So we'll get our clarification. Plus you also don't want to be coming back down the other way in the middle of the holidays and everything else yeah where you have to be like yeah not eating but we are really interested to see how this program goes i will leave a link for the program down below it's got some really cool videos and things like that yeah so we're really excited we've about been kind that. of binging those yeah <laughs> so you want to do comments yes please okay we'll start off with our subscriber of the week subscriber of the week i've got two of them this week you do yeah so the first one is mindy Mindy. And I love Mindy. She's one of my favorite people in the whole universe. Mindy actually goes to our church and I I love her because she's your personality. I, I yeah. She I mean, Rachel and Mindy are like two peas in a pod. Two peas in a pod. They're twins, down to always having different hair colors, hairstyles, and everything else. When we first met Mindy, I mean, and I love her husband Peter. I mean, just awesome people. He's hilarious. But Mindy put a picture on our Facebook group to give a little backstory, and I'm so proud of her for this picture because we've been talking about making a video about self-image. Because yeah. like I, for one, have a horrible self-image. Ditto. I, I look at myself, I consider myself super fat and not good looking, 
and like, look, I find every flaw in myself. And so Mindy put a picture of herself and bared it all. You and go, girl. Talked about like yoga. So I'm gonna put the picture up right here. She's gorgeous. And what she wrote, I have to post this to my keto family. Today in blazing hot yoga, I took my shirt off. I never even imagined doing this at a goal weight and certainly not toward my heaviest at my current weight, but it happened. Today, a curse and barrier was broken. I thank my yoga studio for creating such a positive environment, but also the keto lifestyle. I'm finally getting a hold of my addiction of food, losing weight in a healthy way, broke up with the weekly and sometimes daily weigh-ins. I love it. I feel satisfied, not hungry, and feeling mentally and physically healthy. My body battles me every day due to fibromyalgia. My body wants to fight and hate everything internally and externally, but I'm only going to pour love into it. Rolls and all. I love her. So, Mindy, I'm super proud of you for putting that picture You are straight up gorgeous. You are awesome. And, I mean, that is, I mean, I can't even explain, like, how good that makes me feel to see someone knowing that like, hey, her whole life is changing. Yeah, and we all need to just embrace ourselves. I mean, you know, how frustrating is it if you don't like yourself, you're gonna be with yourself all the time. There's no way to escape. There's yeah. no way to escape me. So right. I might as well start liking me, right? That's like, right. I mean, it's, it's me and me. That's, That's right. it, and it's you and you. So yeah, if we are our worst critic, then we need to to turn that around. Right. And, and I love how she just embraced it, and you're gorgeous. Like straight up beautiful. Because in the end, you can only rely on two people loving you. God and yourself. Seriously. So you need to worry about that. And if you can't love yourself, how can you have anybody else love you? Yeah, exactly. We love you. The next one is from Cindy. Hey, Cindy. And I'm going to put Cindy's pictures up here. Um, And uh, Cindy wrote, My brother's passing at the young age of 60 after battling morbid obesity, coupled with a trip to the park where I struggled to walk up a steep hill that my six-year-old grandson witnessed, gave me the courage to decide to give up sugar and take control of my health. My grandson stayed with me and said he would help me up the hill. My sweetheart. He asked several times, Granny, are you okay? Mm. The concern and sort of fear he had on his face is something that I will never forget. Inspired by my brother, motivated by my grandson, and influenced by the keto community, my life has and will continue to change in so many ways. At this one-year anniversary, I have lost 74 pounds, Wow! scored a zero on my coronary calcium scan, lowered my A1C, and shined on all other tasks. Thank you for keeping me educated and entertained. My addiction has shifted away from sugar and onto two crazy ketos. Oh, <laughs> And Thank so you, you have her Cindy. before and after pictures one year later, oh 74 my power gracious. is Oh my gracious, you are beautiful. I love it. She wrote, I have eyes again and I, di- I and I ain't done yet. Bye bye sugar. Oh my, well talk about eyes. Yeah, like look wow. at that. Oh my goodness. So congratulations Beautiful. Cindy. Absolutely beautiful. Honestly, that's like why we do this, right? Yeah. Just for that. Thank you for sharing that because that really does, that motivates us. Yep. Yeah, to keep going. To keep going. So comments. First one, Viva J wrote. Hey, Viva J. Yay, Rachel can start pooping rainbows. <laughs> oh, because of Squatty Potty. <laughs> I am uh, a unicorn. Bambi Hamilton wrote. Hey, Bambi. LOL, Joe reminded me of my middle son uh, when my middle son was a toddler. My mother in law got a picture of him having stripped down, squatting like a frog on the toilet. Oh, wow. David Dieter wrote, Hey, David. Rachel, you're killing me. I'm laying in a lawn chair, getting some sun, and laughing out loud. My neighbors are wondering what uh, what I'm doing over the privacy fence. Oh, that is awesome. I love that. Tara wrote, Hey, Tara. My husband likes the dark, too. Sometimes I feel like I'm walking into a bat cave at the end of the day because he puts he pulls the drapes and turns off all the lights to save electricity. Oh my goodness, I think I'm I'm married to her husband. Hey, you like the drapes closed. I'm just the one who runs around turning off all the lights. Tara recently shared a camping trip yes. video in our Facebook family group of just like what does her camping look like? Oh my goodness. We're jealous. I was so jealous and she had the coolest tent that we need to get. It, it was a tent, but it's a hammock. And your doggy can lay underneath your hammock while you sleep in your tent. How fun that would that be? Awesome. Tabitha would love that. 
So Just a Girl wrote. Hey, Just a Girl. I'm excited to watch y'all during your challenge. I'm curious about reverse dieting since I only eat 1,200 calories and I've cut calories way lower at times through the years. I'm sure I've slowed down my metabolism and I'd like to repair it. I just want to sing, I'm just a girl in the world. Are you a No Doubt fan? Like, <laughs> I want to listen to that entire soundtrack right now. Exciting. But anyway, I digress. Um, I am right there with you. That that low calorie thing. And I mean, it's very scary. Yeah. Full disclosure, I am scared of this reverse dieting thing. Yeah. But that is why we're doing it. We're it really, we're, we're excited about it. We're curious about it. But our whole focus when we spoke to Robert about it was the fact that we are older and a lot of older people have screwed up their metabolism. So we're going to really get into it. It's just going to, it's going to be a, a long process and it's going to be interesting to see how it works. Makes sense that it works. Just like watching it actually happen is a completely different story. So Katie wrote, Hey Katie. Are you familiar with the floating egg test? Since we have our own chickens, we leave their eggs out on the counter and then you put them in water. If they float to the top, they get tossed out. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, I knew that. I and did that's not. The thing is people don't realize how long eggs are good for. I feel like we're about to test this theory. Like how long are you going to keep an egg? <laughs> So Anne wrote, Hey Ann. Your storm conversation is spot on. The conversations I've been having with my brother in Florida, I'm in Pennsylvania, are exactly the same. The guessing game. It reminds me of what we endure anytime a winter storm might be on the horizon. It's agonizing. The Christmas ornament idea is the best. Your channel is so much fun. Such amazing subscribers. It really is a family. Well, thank you for being part of our family, yes. Miss Anne. Oh my goodness. And yes, the speculation drives me nuts. I will say, just as a side note, you want less stress in your life? Turn the news off. Yes. Just like get off the scale. Turn off the news. Like um, I had a preacher once that said, don't ask the devil what kind of day you're going to have. He's never going to tell you it's going to be a great day. Right. We didn't even know there was a storm coming until like two or three days after everybody started talking yeah. about it because we don't watch the we news. We really don't. And we, I think we kind of figured it out when we started going into the stores and it's like, why is everybody buying so much water? Seriously. And I can tell you as somebody who was a journalist for many years, like they want to drum up like fear yep. because fear makes you turn to that outlet. Yeah. Right? We don't watch the news though. You know how we, we get our news... When you start seeing everybody on Facebook talking about something, oh, maybe we should go turn on Let me the news. Check it for out. That. What's going on? But we don't get our news from Facebook, but we become aware of the news when Facebook goes nuts. All right, that. turn it on <laughs> and then just get an update and then turn, turn it, right it right back off. off again. Bambi wrote, Hey, Bambi. You know, if the hurricane picks up all the iguanas and carries them off, they're going to rain down all over the place. Can you imagine? It could be funny, but also dangerous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bambi, that would be like my worst nightmare. Like, um, what is that? Like cloudy with a chance of meatballs? Yeah. And like, that would be my dream, like raining food from the sky. But um, yeah, raining iguanas, mm, that would be terrible. So Doll wrote, Hey Doll. The weather people do this here in New England when a blizzard is on its way. Oh no, not a blizzard. And then we end up with four inches of snow. <laughs> It's, it's so frustrating. My my plan is just dress in layers. Just do everything in layers. Just make sure you're stocked up all the time Be for prepared. whatever has happening. Be a Boy Scout, right? Yeah. Well, that's prepared. our whole thing down here because it rains all the time. Bring an umbrella. If you bring an umbrella, it will never rain. It's a guarantee. But when you don't have your umbrella, guaranteed it's going to rain. Pouring. I carry an umbrella for everybody else to have a good day. <laughs> Kathy wrote, Hey, Kathy. Do I need to drink electrolytes every day? Um, you don't have to drink electrolytes every day, but that's going to come down to the kind of diet that you're on. If you're doing more of a dirty keto, you probably will need to supplement with some electrolytes. If you're doing like a really clean keto, if you're eating a lot of nutrient dense foods, like some like good kind of quality meats, like pasture raised meats, grass fed beef, stuff like that, avocados. avocados you can get a lot of your electrolytes from there. Also, make sure real you're salt. using a good salt, either Redmond real salt or pink Himalayan salt. Don't buy like the table salt, the iodized salt. Um, I wouldn't even get into like the Celtic sea salt. If you can't find pink salt, if you can't find Redmond real salt, that's where you step down to the Celtic sea salt. But really, number one would be Redmond real salt because it's loaded with a lot of minerals. And after that, then go to, red, to, to the pink salt. Which you can find in TJ Maxx. Yeah. Now, there's different quality pink salts. Get a good quality pink salt. Yeah. 
Uh, but you can get a lot of your electrolytes there. But if again, if you're eating a dirtier type of keto, like a lot of like fast food, but ketofied, that kind of stuff, you're probably going to want to do some electrolytes. And yeah. you can do it in a lot of ways. Just get the electrolyte drops from Keto Chow. I'll leave a link for them down below. Zip Fizz. Uh, you can do Zip Fizzes. Ultima. Ultima. You can do, we use uh, Keto Vitals yes. is my favorite. We've kind of shifted away from the Ultima. Because the Keto Vitals, it does, it's not as sweet as Ultima, mm -hmm. but it is cheaper and it has a lot more potassium and stuff in it. Okay. So, uh, Heather wrote. Hey, Heather. Happy birthday, Rachel. Thank you. She's like, please don't torture Rachel with all the gross foods. That's right. I don't like any of the foods mentioned. No brunch water, liverwurst, tuna, blood sausage, nada. I don't like tuna fish. <laughs> Rachel, you are brave uh, to take two bites. This girl wouldn't have taken one. Champion you are. Thank you. Now, Rachel actually liked it. She I didn't was finish the entire thing. shocked that I liked it. But I'm telling you, was it Rachel that suggested um, yes. the, the uh, cream cheese? The cream cheese. The cream cheese does a lot. Liverwurst is not that bad. You have to get past the name Liverwurst and the fact that it does kind of look and have the consistency of like canned dog food. I feel like, like the old pate kind of stuff. We get ours from, it's not Butcher Box. What was the other one? I, well, no, US, US Wellness. Wellness. Now that actually came from Penn Dutch. It was the Boar's Head brand. I'm shocked. But yeah, liverwurst itself isn't bad, but it's a lot better than eating regular liver. And it's a great way to get your liver and all your nutrients in. I remember my grandmother cooking liver for my mom because she enjoyed liver and onions. It just stunk up the it whole block. Like you could you gotta smell it. You got to soak it in milk or cream. For houses. Uh, Susie wrote. Hey, Susie. I love liverwurst. Stay safe. <laughs> it's funny. Everybody likes different stuff. Cheryl wrote. Hey, Cheryl. I love liverwurst with mustard. Watching Rachel eat the liverwurst and cream cheese on the chopper was priceless. Your facial expressions speak volumes and absolutely make me laugh out loud. Aw, thanks, Cheryl. I actually, we, we should probably try it with mustard because yeah. I do like mustard. I'm a mustard girl. You're not so much for mustard. I like mustard on certain things. I like it on liverwurst. I like it on brisket. I am finding that cream cheese is like the ketchup of keto, right? I can put it on stuff and it, it, it hides a lot. So Kim wrote, Hey Kim. I bought liverwurst but couldn't bring myself to try it. I gave it to the dog. Oh, which I bet the dog was like super happy. Like, thank you. <laughs> Again, get past the texture and what it looks like. The smell. It doesn't smell that bad. It smells a little wonky. Tuna fish smells a lot worse than liverwurst does. That is true. I also don't want to like be bathed in tuna fish juice. <laughs> but yeah, if you get past the texture and the name, it's not as bad as pe most people think it is. There was an Everyone Loves Raymond episode where tuna fish juice got on him and he like freaks out. And I'm like, that's Joe. I can't stand the smell of tuna fish. Like, oh! Um, Avery wrote. Hey, Avery. Happy birthday, Rachel. Thank you. I think the subscriber Christmas tree is a really cool idea. I'm glad I found this channel. You two are great people. Thanks, Avery. We're glad that you're here. Uh, Cheryl wrote, Hey Cheryl. Our cats used to climb our Christmas tree when we first adopted them and they literally destroyed it. We removed all the ornaments and completely decorated with candy canes for the first two years. Then I discovered an item called SCAT. Oh. It's compressed air in a can with a motion sensor. The kitties will go nowhere near the tree now. We have got to find I've that. I've got to find that because I've got a whole mess of things that I want to keep the cats away from. And the dog. And because right now the plan is when the Christmas tree goes up, like pushing the couch across the doorway that goes into that room so the dog can't go in there. The problem is, is she figured out how to just jump over the couch. But at least slows her down. Yes. And yeah, like last year I had put little birdies around the tree. And they were styrofoam, so she started eating them. She was just eating them. She was like, ugh. You had so like styrofoam balls and she loves finding styrofoam and tearing it apart you know what picking up her poop is so interesting it's it's fascinating you don't know what is coming out of her butt i blame you i blame you for the shoes and i blame you for like wanting to eat every kind of little birdie kind of thing because when we got her you gave her an old boot as a toy it was so cute she was so, so she cute used to with run it. around the house with an old work boot which she was taught adorable. her how to do shoes and every toy you bought her was a stuffed animal that is true. And a lot of them were woodland creatures. Yeah. 
So you can't really be mad when she went and grabbed your giant giraffe and started eating it. She just thought it was a big toy. Yes. That was her size. I know, but it was my stuffed animal. She ate my stuffed animal. My wrote. Hey, my. Gave up on having a Christmas tree nine years ago when I got my cat. He knocked down the tree and broke my beautiful ornament. Oh. Someone recommended I spray the tree with a citrus spray because cats hate citrus. Really? I may try it because I would love to have a tree. I'm totally down with the subscriber Christmas tree. It sounds like an amazing idea. I'm happy you guys are safe. Praise God for that. The look on Rachel's face when Joe brought out the liverwurst chaffle. Oh my goodness. I, I can't even. I promise I have she no idea. No idea. I knew she was on her way home, so I was trying to quickly make chaffles and wrap it up in aluminum foil and hide it in the toaster oven to keep warm. I mean, it was just hysterical. She had no idea I was doing that. My life is like Fear Factor. I don't know what's coming. I don't know what's going to be at the door delivered. Today was like a cool mop system. So it was a it was a win. It was a good thing. I've been wanting one of those mops that you can like pump it and you it'll spin. spin. But they're like $50 because we we're looking for a bucket on wheels. Yeah, because I'm sick of like dragging the mop like across town and or trying to carry the bucket across the right. whole house. Um, but you found one that was like super cheap. Yeah, it's like in Walmart, it's like fifty dollars. Yeah. Something in, in in Home Depot, they had it for fifty dollars. And I found this one on Amazon, and if you look at it, it's identical, just a different color. Yeah. And it was like twenty five dollars or something like that. I'll leave a link down in the description. <sighs> We're so old. Why am I excited about a mop? So Rachel wrote. Hey Rachel. Happy twenty first plus experience birthday, Rachel. Thank you. Oh wow, you read my comment. Thanks. A subscriber tree will be so fun. I think it will be too. Yeah. So Yvette wrote. Hey, Yvette. If you never have seen the nutrition website, give it a look as it has a lot of keto-friendly items. Neat. Looking forward to finding a cool ornament. Oh, awesome. So Cindy wrote. Hey, Cindy. It sounds like you have some crafty subscribers. While I was making my zip fizz this morning, I was thinking one of them could come up with some ideas of how to use these adorable little plastic vials that the zip fizz comes in. Um, and I bet there's a Christmas ornament in there somewhere too. I think there is. We are currently saving all of our Zip Fizz containers for um, a subscriber who asked us to save them because she's doing a craft at church. Yeah, she was doing something for next year's VBS. And she's like, can you save your Zip Fizz? So we, yeah, we've got a whole box that we're saving. Yeah, them. we're stockpiling them. So Terry wrote. Hey, Terry. Rachel stole Joe's line. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I love the subscriber ornament tree idea. Yes. So Lisa wrote. Hey, Lisa. Oh, my gosh. I was literally LOL when Joe suggested putting iguana eggs on the tree and having them hatch for Christmas. Yeah, we are not doing that. Like, I love pets, but please. We are doing the subscriber tree, though. I'm excited about We're that. We're really excited about this. So if you didn't see last week's Keto on the Couch, um, somebody suggested for a Christmas tree that we do a subscriber Christmas tree where... The only ornaments that are going to go on our tray are whatever you guys, if you guys send us any ornaments, and we're going to feature them all. Buy them, make them, have your kids make one. Yeah, so as they come in on each week's Keto on the Couch, we'll kind of show you guys all the ones that we got, you know, quickly, because, you know, we don't have any we're going to get. And then at the end, like a week or so before Christmas, we're going to pick our, like, five or whatever, ten favorites, and then let you guys vote on it. And yeah. whoever gets the most amount of votes is going to get some kind of, like, giveaway box. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah. And we do have an upcoming um, big-time giveaway yep. for 5,000 subscribers. So if your friends or loved ones have not subscribed to our channel. Yeah, make sure you subscribe and share. And we did want to say, like, thank you so much for hit, putting comments on the videos, yes. for hitting the like button, for sharing. It does help the algorithms for us to get noticed. Our goal is to really be able to make two crazy ketos like our full-time thing and just have two crazy ketos and children's ministry and not have to be working the other like 17 jobs. jobs that we're working. Um, but for us, it's not just a money thing. It's also a ministry thing. Yeah. We love being able to help people, being able to impact people. But it does cost a lot of money to have a website and like have the cameras and all that kind of stuff. So thank you for supporting us by using our like, you know, affiliate links and things like that. It doesn't give us a lot, but it gives us enough to at least continue paying for the cost of having like the channel and stuff. Thank you guys. Yeah, so thank you very much. But yeah, we're really excited about the Christmas ornament tree. I can't wait to see. I'm excited to see what kind of a tree it could be because it's like we, you know, you always have it planned and 
this could be like a tree of like a bunch of pieces of liverwurst. Like if they want to torture you. No, 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 no. Y'all won't do that to me. Please don't do that to me. So last comment. We'll have the smelliest tree in town. <laughs> Christy wrote. Hey, Christy. Happy birthday, Rachel. Thank I wanted you. to share some amazing news. My mother was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes several years ago. She's been taking 86 units in the morning and 86 units at night to control it. Wow. I finally convinced her to start keto with us this past month. Last week, I took her in for her regular appointment and her A1C is at 6. Her doctor told us that she can stop taking the insulin now. He was actually in shock that keto had cured her and couldn't stop talking about it. Keto has been life. Wow. Wow, that Christy, is so awesome, I'm Christy. so excited for your mom. That is awesome. That is really awesome. Now, if you guys have never seen, this is Christy Davis, not Christy Davis Sofa King. This is the other Christy Davis. She has a YouTube channel. I'm going to awesome. leave that over Rachel's head. She Amazing. is really awesome. I know a lot of you guys came from Christy's channel. But I love Kristen because she is doing keto what our vision is, which is the whole family. Yeah. Like her whole family. Now her older son, her teenage the daughter is the one who started it. Now the younger daughter. Elementary the, age. The, her husband. The whole family is doing keto. And it's not just a losing weight thing. It's a way of life for health. And yeah. now to see like your mother having that kind of success, that is awesome. Generational keto. That's right. That's exciting. Yeah. So that is our video for today. That's all the comments for this week. Now, if you guys Thank have any guys. questions or comments, please do us a favor. Leave them down in the comment section of this video, and we will read them next week. Also, if you haven't, please go over to our Facebook family group and join it. And tell us your story in there. Put up a picture or two if you don't mind. Give us your story of your journey. You don't have to be at the end of your journey. You could be a month in. You could be two months in. You could be a year in. Mm -hmm. If you don't have Facebook, you can email it to us, the Two Crazy Ketos. We really want to be able to feature your successes yes. on Keto on the Couch because you never know who that success is going to encourage and keep yeah. them going. Because somebody's looking for that unique story, that That's specific right. thing. If you're having like health, um, the health benefits, if you're having um, relief in a certain health area and you're like, I wonder if anyone would care. There is somebody out there who is like, you're the answer. That's like right. you're exactly what they're looking for. So yeah, like it's a super blessing. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the birthday love this week. And I wanted to let you guys know that you have have truly helped to make this my greatest year yet just I, I feel like you know the best is yet to come and a real like renewed sense of purpose in my life so I just want to thank you guys for making that happen well thank you well that is our video if you like what you saw today do us a favor hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it until next time bye, bye.